This makeup tutorial was inspired by my favorite TV show called Outlander. This is the Druid look. The Druids were seen circling the stones of the fictional Kragna Doom in season 1 of the show. So starting off with the face, I first used my Shape Tape Concealer to prime my eyelids so that the eyeshadows can pop up better. I do this trick always and my eyeshadows stay on all day. Next, I started by covering my face imperfections by taking my favorite foundation by Huda Beauty and blended it all over my face to create a dewy canvas. I always start in the center of my face and work my way outward when blending. I use no powders because I wanted a dewy glowing look because that's what I think of when I hear the words magician, druids, fairies, but feel free to do so if you would like to mattify the look more. Eyeshadows. I wanted to keep the eyes to be the main focus of this look. First, I used a pale pink shade by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Fresh and placed this all over my eyelid space to give my eyes more of an open look. Next, I took a pink copper metallic shade by ColourPop in Snake Eyes and placed this at the center of my eyes since I wanted to keep the center sparkly and magical. Then I took the shade Taupe Brown by Urban Decay in the shade Naked and smoked this at the outer corner of my eyes. Then, I took a pink shade lip pencil from NYX in the colored Nude Suede Shoes and created a cat line in the inner socket and then I winged it out at the end of my eye. You should always try to frame your wing liner by framing it to your eyebrow shape. Because this look was a little bit more exaggerated, I extended it just a bit. Last, Instead of creating my normal black winged eyeliner, I took a white eyeliner pencil and did a sharp cat look. This, I felt, made the eyes look more ethereal. I wanted more of a glow to the eyes, so I took my gold lip gloss by Jouer and added this at the center of my eyelid to make this more of a wet look. Highlighters. So this part I may have exaggerated a bit, but I wanted a super glowing face, so I used two highlighters to get this magical ethereal effect. First, I used a pink shade highlighter from Jouer in the color Rose Quartz and placed this above my cheekbones in a C shape all the way to my brows and the nose bridge and above my cupid's bow. I also added this as a highlight to the eyebrow part of my eyes. To further enhance the glow, I took the color Moonstone from Anastasia Beverly Hills and used it on the same key points as the Jouer highlight. Just keep in mind that this is a Halloween look and I feel like Halloween is the perfect excuse to exaggerate a little, or a lot, depending on your flavors. 
Just keep in mind that this look is also very mystic and magical, or at least my version of the druids from Outlander. For my lips, I use the same nude pink lip liner from NYX I placed on my eyes to make a soft base for my lips. I wanted something nude, but with a little bit of color, so I used this rose nude shade. Then I went in again with a gold gloss from Jouer and added this as a topper to my nude base. And this look is now done. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys check out the show Outlander. It is a romantic time period piece so I think it's a fabulous show and it's actually one of the best shows I think I've watched in the past maybe year or so. Outlander seasons one and two are now available on Netflix. If you guys have not checked it out yet, please check it out. It's such a good show. All right, guys, I love you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.